It was 10 p.m. and the moonlight made everything shimmer. On the top floor of Hotel Waverick, Seattle, room 101 was really dark and the only sound was breathing. What's going on? Natalie felt confused. There was something heavy on her, making it hard to move. Stop. Her mind was a jumble and she remembered a happy night with her fiance, then darkness. Who are you? The man gasped, his grip on Natalie tightening. A strange feeling washed over her, making her respond in a way she didn't expect. No. Natalie's consciousness faded. Hours later, the man woke up as his phone buzzed angrily. His eyes moved from the messy bed to Natalie under the blanket. He rejected the call, angry that someone drugged him. He got up, showered, and left the room, ignoring Natalie. Morning came and Natalie woke up feeling sore. Memories of the night before flooded back, filling her with despair. She hurriedly dressed, wanting to leave the room. Oh no. Outside, Nick, her stepsister Cheryl, and her dad Tom stood, looking shocked and angry. Nick? Confused, Natalie struggled to find words. Her dad's slap made it clear what had happened. You've brought shame to our family. I am disowning you. How could you, Natalie? I was drugged, Nick. I didn't do this. It was Cheryl who brought me here. I don't know what you're saying. No, stop making excuses, Natalie. You broke my trust. I can't be with you. Nick, please. Nick's words hurt Natalie deeply. As Natalie reached out, her dad pulled her away, ending their connection. You're not my daughter. You cannot stay with this family anymore. I am sending you away. Alone, Natalie felt lost. Packing her stuff, she faced the harsh reality. What do I do now? Need answers, Natalie? Tell me, Cheryl. All right, I did it. I framed you. You can't have Nick, Natalie. I love him and he is mine. Natalie's world shattered even more at those words. Will Natalie be able to prove her innocence? Or will the aftermath of that fateful night haunt her forever? To find out in the next episode, follow the channel today.